unregularradio.com. Unregularradio.com. A 24-7 online stream of everything regular radio doesn't offer. Also without that wagging finger of corporate or big brother, this is Radio Unleashed on regularradio.com. Back live on Two Hotheads, where activism happens on unregularradio.com. Our telephone number is 617-606-4122. You can send us instant feedback at if at unregularradio.com. This is uh, Mike Can, and my co-host here is Heather Mack. Hello, hello. And uh, a bunch of people in the studio. Uh, well, actually, the usual free mass media, Nikki and Tommy here. And Derek Ferry behind the board. And a uh, big deal today at unregularradio.com, too, uh, at the station. Dave Crespo is getting married to Christina. And uh, that's a big event. People will get, uh, you know, um, what, what, oh, I can't remember. Tomar has been in here about 10 times trying to tell, ask us if he looks okay in his suit. <laughs> He's put together suit. The answer for is yes, Tomar. Yes, you, Tomar. You look great. You look amazing. And uh, congratulations to them today. They're uh, Dave Crespo. Is a major part of the station here, mm-hmm. the owner, and congratulations to him getting married today. It's a big day, big, big rock and roll wedding. Uh, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, who's playing at his at his wedding? I don't Assuming know. There's actually a, a couple one. bands. I saw it, like Flo, uh, something Robot. You know? Do you know Ferry? I, I don't. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it's going to be cool. Japanese though. Robot. I want. I want him to wrestle a bear. Oh, at yeah. his own wedding. I'm sure, That's what I want to see. I'm sure a lot of hijinks <laughs> will be made at this wedding tonight. <laughs> well, we're running way over time already <laughs> on our new show. Yep. And, uh, we, we, Ironing out the lo- Lots of activism going on this week, and we've been all about money. We're playing all these money songs, and and the Fed is going to happen today. And on the phone right now, we have, uh, I believe, from Minnesota, Minneapolis, Twin maybe? Twin Cities. Yeah, Twin Cities. Jason Nelson on the phone. Jason has uh, created a system to uh, trade outside the Federal Reserve System that we're talking about today. This is an example. And uh, I wanted to talk to him about what he's doing, how other people might want to replicate it in other places, and uh, what he thinks about uh, and the Fed and and this subject, you know, if you can give give us more insight, because he seems to know a lot about this. Like we know about cannabis, where I'm one of the main people that can give you a lot of news. I think Jason's going to give us a lot of insight, insight on this subject. Hey, Jason, are you on the phone? Yep, I'm here, Mike. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. Awesome. Well, uh, tell us about, number one, the system that you set up, this Numero Set, your website, what it is, how people use it, and how it began. Um, it's called Numero Set, and the website is numeroset.net. And what it is is it's a debt-free, equal distribution economic system where the Federal Reserve is a debt-based trickle-down economic system, where, as you know, the Federal Reserve prints money from nowhere, and it prints it for free. Um, I actually do, uh, I I operate in a similar manner. I create Numero from nowhere. Uh, Numero is my unit of currency, and I create it for free. The difference is, who is it that gets that free, newly created money? In the Federal Reserve System, the banking class, which is just a handful of people, and I refer to them as the privileged class, because if you're the recipient of free money, there is no bigger privilege than that. Yeah, mm-hmm. for right yeah. Your own, make your the own money. Pri- uh, the privileged class create money for themselves for free, and then they charge everyone else debt and interest to use that money. And I refer to everyone else in this scenario as the peasants. So in my system, I, I too create Numero for free, but the difference is that I don't just give it to myself. I give it to everyone in my economy equally for free. And you don't you actually don't take any of it, really? Is uh, that I do th- as a uh, as a participant equal to everyone else. Uh, exactly. So it's not no you don't get any favor. You, there's no advantage to you to run this system, right? Correct. I don't have any privilege, so. It really doesn't matter how much numero I issue. You know, if I issue a little bit, if I issue a lot, there's no advantage to me for doing that. The result is equal to everyone across the board. And then once the numero is entered into circulation, um, and numero is just numbers, you know, money is just numbers um, as well. So once the numero is entered into circulation, the people in my economy are free to spend it in whatever way they so choose. So I, I think I'm accomplishing what the liberals are looking for, which is equality, 
And once the equality is handled by distributing the points equally, then my members are able to trade in a free market type like setting, which is exactly what the conservatives want. Exactly. And and um, how what like uh, when you say when the money is created, why is the money created in your system? I think that's a stumbling point from people. Like, w- w- give us an instance. Like, I I actually tried to just recently sign up on your um, website. To, to see what it was about, and, and uh, I'm waiting, to, I think, to get approved on it. When I'm approved, how do I get this Numero? How am I granted it? What, how does that work? Well, when you're approved, you start out, you get an account, and you begin with account an account balance of zero. And uh, I use, uh, are you familiar with the Fibonacci sequence? Yes. The, I divine, saw your- the divine proportion, right? The, yeah, the exactly. The spiral. So what I do is uh, I had to figure out some kind of mechanism to enter points into the system. And um, I decided to use a Fibonacci sequence because that's, that's the, the numbering sequence for the development of life. And in an economy, uh, the life force is the money. So when my membership reaches... Or is it the labor and the goods that are exchanged? For the money. That yeah. Well, I suppose you could look at it your way if you wanted to. <laughs> but it becomes one great. in the same in the system in a way. Doesn't <laughs> it become one? I base it off of uh, the membership. So when the membership reaches a Fibonacci number, then I enter more points into the system. So everybody gets the points for free based on Fibonacci numbers. Wow. So you so it's not like an hours. It's it's different than hours. I, I, I understand. It, works, it yeah. works just like just like money, just like yep. the dollar. If you've got, uh, if you want to purchase something and it costs five numero, and you have ten numero, and you purchase it, then you've got five numero left, and five of your numero goes to the purchase person that you purchased the item yes. from. Yes. Yep. That's it, the the way that you issue those. No, is, but is, the, it's yeah, different so the, than the the hours method that I was referring to, which is more about uh, what people do is contribute and they work and they it's it's that's interesting. I, I never thought of the way that you're doing it with the five. That's I, I, that makes so much sense too. Now, but the yeah, question it works just like the dollar. I, I think that the problem with the dollar system uh, isn't that they create the money for free. It's that there's a, a, a special group of people that get it all for free. Yeah. And if you get all the money for free, you dictate everything. Yeah. You dictate what projects get funded, what projects don't get funded, what laws get created, what laws don't get created. You you determine everything because there is nothing that you happens can't buy without money. Now I'm I'm just confused because I don't understand if you're getting so you're getting the money for free. What's the incentive for providing service? Is this an exchange for? I mean, why is someone participating in this in this system? Well, and that's a, that's a pretty interesting question. There is no incentive to do work in NumeroSet. I'm not, all I'm doing is providing a system to account for transactions. If uh, you want to work to whatever degree you want to, that's up to you. But um, a transaction of what? points for free, and yeah. if there's something available to you that you want to spend those points on, you're free to do it. When I think about incentive to work, what I think mm-hmm. of is a whip. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that people need that. And my system is proving that people don't need an incentive to work. They just naturally want to create and share their creation with other people, but they don't want to do it for free. You know, you can't you can't just extend your effort out indefinitely without a benefit. Yeah. So they want to create, they want to share, um, but they want some kind of accounting for that. So to I prove that they've it. given something, so they're not. So basically, it's like a. I, I don't know. I'm just. I'm kind of baffled by the whole the system that you're proposing. Well, in a sen- I mean, the I, I, I think one of the questions. Common. Most people are totally baffled. By it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think one of the questions she had too was like, <clears throat> for someone that doesn't quite understand how this works. Yeah. This money is created based on you're in you're in the system. They basically issue money based on your membership by signing up. And that money is traded and used by other providers. So who are some of the, can you, can you, I have a question on this, whether you can publicly do it. I'm sure you can actually. Can you publicly tell us some of the companies and businesses that are using this? So that right. once Heather gets the money, she signs up for an account, she grants these, these um, what do you call them, numeros? You, you, numeros. She gra- she's yep. granted some numeros. What can she do with those? How does she use them? And you said they were used just like money. Where are they used for money? Can I go to my 7-Eleven and use them? Can I pay my gas bill? How can I use those numeros? Um, 
government entities, corporations, organizations, all of these things that exist only on paper, they're not allowed in the system. It, the system is only for human beings. Individuals. So only, only human beings can participate. So that severely limits the opportunities of exchange. But all of those paperwork entities are byproducts of the dollar system. And I don't want to have anything to do with that. Mm-hmm. So basically what we're looking at is the network that develops itself from individuals that want to, want to exchange with each other. Um, how I do the marketing for it is I, I, I run a little market out of my garage, and I kind of masquerade it as a garage sale. So people come into my market, and they look at my stuff, and once they decide they want to purchase something, then I tell them, well, I don't actually use money. I use a point system. And one more feature, just to confuse the issue even further, is you start with a balance of zero, but you can actually spend to minus 20. So you, right, out, right, right out of the gate, you get a free 20 points. Right. So you come into my garage, you're looking at the products that I have. I've got a, a YouTube video that is, you know, the market in my garage. Oh, we gotta, wa- we got to find that. Um, That's on the, on the website, um, on the About page. So this isn't even so, like a bartering sort of system. I mean, it, it is is it? Can you liken this sure, to it's bartering? A form of, it's, it's a bartering. form of barter. Um, except in, in bartering, you're keeping track of your transactions in your mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but my system just kind of puts the transactions onto paper. Yeah, okay. on, on a computer right. system. Um, so right. how many people are participating in this economy? 169. Wow. And you, 169. You, and those are active participants? Those are people who are... Who are exchanging bitcoins? I mean, not bitcoins. Numeros. Sorry, we're going to talk about that Numeros. later. Numeros. Numeros. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's, it's a lot you to know, wrap my I'm head cool around. With bitcoins too. Uh, as long as I, I think that everyone should have involvement, and in at least one type of alternative currency. Yeah. I think the dollar system's done. Uh, people are just not interested in playing that game anymore because it's uh, it's done in such an unfair manner. So the the new industry in town is monetary. So it's important for people, to, if Bitcoin is your thing, you know, noodle around with that. If uh, uh, Itasca Hours is your thing, or Let's, or Numero Set, or whatever, um, you know, that's all good by me. Are you, are you worried about the federal government, like, having set up the system at all, like, coming in and harassing you about this? No, I, I don't operate from a position of fear. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good, good way to do it. Do you think there could be this. any repercussions, though? Sure. From, yeah. That, so that... Like there is a legal issue. Is there a legal issue that you set something up like this? Like I'm, I wonder. Like what would a lawyer say? Well, you know, according to the Constitution, it's the uh, the Congress is the only one that can print and coin money, which is how the Federal Reserve and the banking system has gotten away with creating digital money. There's no there's no rule against creating digital money mm-hmm. as of right now. But law is arbitrary. It's basically so is uh, money an opinion by force. So at any given time, they can just write on a piece of paper, uh, numero set is outlawed. And next thing you know, I'm thrown in the can. Yeah. So it's not like there's a, a moral foundation to the creation of law. And, and you know this because of the illegality of marijuana. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Can you buy marijuana with numeros? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, good. Okay, good to know. Actually, I want to know, so then how how does this work in terms of, now this is based somewhere, you said you're, you're from the Twin Cities area, is this is the 169 people that are participating, is that mostly from that immediate area or from... Exactly, exactly. Okay. You know, like Bitcoins is international, anybody can join that. Mm-hmm. Um, my, my system is pretty much locally based, mm-hmm. although what I would like to see happen is people who are interested in exploring creating their own alternative currency, I would mm-hmm. like them to use my model. And if anyone is interested in doing that, I would give them uh, you know, all the information I've got to try to make that a success for them in their local area. I like that. that Because I, I like this model that you presented because I hadn't ever seen or heard about this. This is like very interesting. I like the Ithaca hours and the Madison hours model. This is another interesting model. That's that's great. Now, I, how would this model work if you applied it? Like I said, the, the second half of my question was was about we've, if you have most of it is based locally, like you said. How would you how would you apply this system to the entire country? Could it be applied to the entire country, or well, internationally? It, it could, but it has to grow naturally. Um, when you're dealing with an alternative currency, what you want to do is uh, you want to have patience and move slowly. You don't want to put yourself 
put yourself out there and gather up a whole bunch of, you know, these made up new marrow. Uh, so now you've got two or three hundred or a thousand new marrow with nothing to spend it on. You know what I mean? And now yeah. you just put yourself out. So what you do is you want to keep your eye on the balance of mm-hmm. zero. You only want to earn as much of an alternative currency as you're able to spend. Mm-hmm. So Can you? How do you earn? Balance, how right? do you earn more? Oh, you earn more just by it being given out through the Fibonacci sequence, right? Well, so that's how you. That's how it enters the, into circulation. Okay. How you earn it is by providing a product or service. Like I provide okay. uh, technical snow shoveling. Support. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Technical support and, or snow and the shoveling. Garage sale stuff. Yeah. Okay. So exactly. I, I understand so people, that. So people have traded for things like uh, labor, lawn works, snow shoveling, furniture moving, secondhand goods, uh, services, technical support, mechanical repair, and pain. in that sense it really does make sense that it's a, a locally based thing because you can't exactly. you know barter for lawn care with someone that lives in you know Scandinavia like <laughs> but right. how right. how long has the numero been in existence and what's what's its growth weight rate in terms of that uh, I've been doing it for two and a half years and I'm up to 169 accounts right now and there are 6,540 new marrow in circulation. Wow. And when I started the system, I started with seven people and 350 new marrow in circulation. And what year was that that you start? In 2009. Okay. Right. So this is all built also off of the trust of your neighbors and the trust of your community, which is something that it's a lot easier, I think, to put your trust in, in your neighbors and your community than in some faceless organization that controls everything. So I, I completely... I really dig. I dig what you're doing. Yeah, like it's a yeah, good thing. <laughs> trust, trust is the name of the game when it comes to money. Um, you know, I know there's a concept about using uh, some type of uh, commodity standard for money in the attempt of getting away from the need to trust your money managers. But um, ultimately, when it comes right down to it, you have you either trust your money system or you don't. And once you lose trust in it, then that money system's over, and that's what we're seeing with the dollar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's is, this is definitely the time that the you know I, I think it, as we a lot of us know the future is uh, not looking any better. It's actually looking <laughs> a lot worse. I think we, it's been a miracle. Yeah, I think it's been a miracle that uh, we've gotten well, I, I'm, where I we are. I enjoy the uh, dysfunction of the dollar because before this whole economic uh, disruption started coming to light a few years ago, I couldn't get anybody to do new Merrill set. <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 good for this uh, for alternative currency. Yeah, bringing and it out, coming Absolutely. up with different ideas. Yeah, it's great for alternative currency, and all current alternative currency is fun. <laughs> it is. It's really a great time. I know. I, it's like <laughs> and because I, it's unregulated, you can uh, you know do all sorts of things with it. Like we'll we'll talk about with bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's right. that's, that's right. really excellent. But <laughs> like you know, we have a local where we're at in uh, Boston with Cambridge, just still ind- independent businesses, and I want to see. The, where, when I go out to a show at the Middle East in Cambridge, that they accept an alternative currency. That's what I want to see. And I know it's going to happen eventually. And uh, yeah. I hope that uh, this is kind of the future, that everywhere we go, there will be alternatives. That's yeah, th- yeah, I agree. I agree completely. And the youth of uh, the world is just not interested in debt-based trickle-down economics. Oh, well, and the, not interested, you, but <laughs> that doesn't keep us from being are mired. more interested in, uh, you know, protesting the system than trying to achieve what the system describes as the dream, then that system's over. Yeah. I can see what you're saying with that. I mean, but in terms of alternative currencies and trying to see them pop up everywhere, though, at the same time, is there a chance that you can oversaturate and have too many alternatives? And then, and then again, it'll, you know, in the cacophony, who, who, you know, whose voice uh, aggressively will dominate? It's an well, inter- that's going to be left up to the free market. Yeah. Um, everybody's well, we see got how- a different take on how to run their exchange system. Mm-hmm. And the more popular alternative currencies become, the more people will put a critical eye to these systems and start, you know, determining which one they think is the best. And at the end of the day, the best one's going to win the game, yeah. according to the market. And, and you know what, too? It's like to, with today, the technology, the Internet, the intelligence of people who really want to know. 
I always can usually find out the truth on this stuff. I'm a financial person. The systems that you're talking about, with what you're, you, if you have total transparency, there's no way that Jason Nelson is making any money on this. The only thing you have to worry about is that someone like Jason Nelson, there's no incentive in him right. to run the system. Right. Because he's not getting anything out of it. But he's doing it because just like people provide free Linux and people do things because they want to make the world a better place. And the, with the transparency of the internet, there would be trustworthy places to do it. Like, I would put my money in Madison Hours and Ithaca Hours. Those are local community currencies. So I think sure. exactly at the, 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 the free market, let it rain today because we have the information and technology for the people who want to know. Yeah, and, you know, if you decide that you don't trust your local alternative currency, then you ditch it. Exactly. And that's where you want to keep your eye on the balance of zero. You don't want to end up with, you know, thousands of uh, somebody's made-up points, and then you're just left there hanging. So spend them. Yeah. You earn them and spend them. Spend them. Yeah. And, and and you should use these these points first, right? Isn't that the case? Like, if you have a choice between, if you're going out to, like I said, the Middle East and Cambridge, I love that club. You know, I love <laughs> a lot of these clubs. We got a big show coming up there. If I was going to go there and they had, um, you know, a Numero, On July 27th. yeah, I know you don't do business. You're not doing businesses right now. But let's say you I did. I get your example. Yeah, if 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 I had the choice, I would rather pay with with your currency than a dollar. Is that correct? Absolutely, because uh, on my website, the first um, section of the About page is the beginner strategy, and the first thing it says is, never spend a dollar to make a numero. Never earn a numero you can't spend. Sell for dollars before you sell for numero, and buy with numero before you buy with dollars. There you go. So you have to be, as, as much fun as alternative currency is, uh, you know, to fool around with this sort of thing, you have to be practical. Sensible, yeah. yeah. So practical comes first. And then, you know, uh, you start advancing your own personal agenda. And that also works better for the system that you're setting up with the Numero, too. So it's, a, it, it, I can't believe you're basing it on this five o. say that again? What is it called? Five Nietzsche? Uh, Fibonacci. Fibonacci. I can't even say it. Fibonacci. Say it. Fibonacci. I'm, Fibonacci. Fibonacci buddy. Oh, it's like <laughs> I've heard so much about this spiral, and I never understood it. And then I saw the little thing that you had sent me, and it all made sense. It was like, wow, wow. You know, it's, <laughs> it, it, was it? Didn't Tool do uh, like uh, five Fibonacci albums on that? Number one forty-four. Yeah, I had one hundred and forty-four accounts, and the next time I issue currency will be uh, <laughs> at account number two thirty-three, and everybody in the system knows it. It's predictable, you know. Everybody's going to get another twenty numero, and that's that. So that's incentive for them to sign up their friends and to help. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really clever. I like that a lot. Yeah, um, you basically get, you get to play, you never have to pay. <laughs> that's fantastic. And this is all possible everywhere. Like, like anonymous. I know you're following. So what's me our now. new currency going to yeah, be? Yeah, like I want to talk to uh, the heads. Occupy movement and <laughs> anonymous Occupy, and the Liberty I went movement. To, uh, Occupy in, yeah. in Minneapolis and tried to sell my idea. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't get any biters on it. Well, we're so talking so. to them right now. That's what I'm saying. Like they listen to me. They they follow this yeah, show. What is I'm getting about? messages <laughs> from these folks like my can the replacement like the anonymous movement is following us they're copying our shit they came out with this thing with operation 2.0 for weed it's like i read it and i'm like dude they're doing everything they're, they they hacked into my account and read my game plan <laughs> they're doing all the same shit we're doing holy shit so like they should do this you can anyone can set this up contact jason how do you how do they contact you the, the uh, anonymous folks you out can there go listening to uh, numeroset.net and at the bottom of every page is an email address info at numeroset.net that goes to me or jason at numeroset.net and i've got a facebook page um and any of any of those ways they can get in touch with me and another important feature of my system versus say something like bitcoins is you, my system doesn't require any kind of technology. Like, you can create a numero set model using a piece of paper and a pencil. Mm -hmm. Because basically all you do is drop a grid and put numbers on that grid. And then when people exchange their numbers, you just move the numbers around. And on the Facebook page, uh, under the photo albums, I have a photo album called History and Info, and I've got a picture of the very first um, monthly status report when there was only seven of us and 350 numero and that's the entirety yeah. of, the, of the whole system yep. 
So you don't even need any technology. This could have been created 10,000 years you ago. Sure. But it, but it, maybe it, I mean, it, yeah. Maybe I think it, it just g- expands the possibilities, though, with the, with yeah. the technology, because it's so simple. Like you said already, you can do it on pen and paper, and it's so small scale, and you're doing something that's uh, so transparent that everyone could see. It's like uh, we can keep track of the baseball game, the hits. You have a, you have a keep a record of the of the of how many people got a hit and an error, and who threw out who, and the score of the game, score of the baseball game. It's it's very simple. Yeah, um, my system's simpler than that. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm already I'm confused. Exactly. <laughs> so um six one seven six oh six four one two two is our phone number if anyone wants to call in and uh talk about this. But we do we have uh, uh some members of the Occupy movement in, in studio and they're gonna be coming up on the next segment. And uh, so they are listening. They're they're here and you're out and uh, I think this is something that everyone should take a look at. And and, and if you're if you've got, if you're looking for something to do, why not start a I, numero system in your life? Yeah, you town? feeling bored, Mike? I think we could. Uh, I, I might. Know, we could spice I, up the new show with uh, two we, hot hey, heads bucks. You know. Can we call it Mike Can Money? Uh, sh- yeah, Heather oh, Mac. I think Mack, that's dollar what, dollar bills, well, y'all. Yeah, well, we're All gonna right, we'll we'll compete. We're out. gonna have our two uh, competing currencies Currency. where we make no money on them, <laughs> except as equal with everyone else. <laughs> Who said? I'll, I'll, I'll use your money too. We'll <laughs> I'll use your money before I use my money. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's that sweet. Like a good idea. See what you've done thank you thank you so much for coming on the show today this has been a wonderful conversation lots of interesting ideas being thrown around and uh, we hope to hope to hear from you again and once again it is uh, numeroset.net n-u-m-e-r-o Set and you know who else? We, I'm gonna uh, thank you for calling in today, Jason. We'll uh, talk to you soon and, and check out your website and uh, I think uh, you did start something today thank you hey thank you guys Give, uh, I'd be happy to come on anytime Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. <laughs> Bye. 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 And uh, we had uh, Dave Tree earlier uh, w- where Dave Tree did something about uh, Hempa's money. Oh, yeah. And he wanted to create his own money. Mm-hmm. I think we got to put him in touch with Jason. Get some That's Dave Tree money. Not this a is bad a, idea. Yeah. Call him Dave... Dave Trees. I don't know what we... We'll have like three currencies going. We'll have Heather Mac, Mike Cans, <laughs> and Dave Trees. <laughs> Dave, you just make them t-shirts that people swap around. And oh, send, Dave, well, that's Dave he already does, does that. That's yeah, what I'm saying, does. but like the, the, the currency is actually t-shirts. Yeah. Or we could always, you know... Well, Dave Tree does things like... He already does that in a way. Like he does, he's not creating on paper like Jason's talking about full con, full system, but he does things like he'll make a dollar bill. And he'll sell it more for than a dollar bill. You know what I mean? It's like art is currency. He trades. He's already doing that. And uh, why not? I mean, money's why in your mind anyway. Yeah. This has been a pretty heady creating conversation creating about creating our own money and the fact How many that of us money g- really is just created in our brains. It's we put the stake into it and believe in it. It's like an, a religious totem that we believe in. And we all, you know, it's this collective hallucination that we're all like participating in. And I smoked a little too much, but I it, think that I think <laughs> if they shut us down, it's good for business, too. <laughs> I don't know. I think money is a crazy, crazy thing, mostly because I don't have any of it any of it <laughs> ever but um, we're going to talk a little bit about some, how I'm going to have even less money starting July 1st um, with the MBTA raising prices cutting services uh, we got we got and cutting services is the worst that's the yeah we'll the talk worst. about the whole saga, the whole saga stranding people the elderly mm-hmm. disabled people and, and what's the solution you drive a car I can't afford this goddamn car I'm driving it's just so bad in the city yeah, and especially when you're getting tickets on your windows, just standing outside of uh, on regular radio. But uh, and attitude. Yeah, exactly. And rudeness to to someone who actually has a fucking handicap. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Boston uh, Parking Department. Yep. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll be talking about that. We'll have a little break. We got Patrick in the studio, and uh, we're on two hot heads where activism happens. I got it right the first time, Mike. Yes, you Let's go did. Go to some music. Yeah.